Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. We're on the last part of the recipe for Turnabout's second investigation. We will be finishing up today. The best part of the game, the investigation period. You actually might like Professor Layton then, because it's no, like all but I don't like Professor Layton puzzles. Okay, even I don't like. Them. I don't like the puzzles. The <laughs> first <laughs> puzzle I got, sure I could not figure out, and they're like, "Oh, it's because the shadow goes a different way, dummy." And I'm like, "No." <laughs> or there was one puzzle where like it's I'm like I'm like I'm like what the heck? They make you use like advanced trigonometry to solve this, but like I did it, wrote it all out, got it right, and they're yes, that's right. If you tilt the leg fin this way and like look at it, compare this side to this one, it's pretty easy. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend has sent you a chocolate bar with a secret message inside I of it. <laughs> Nobody got that right. Yeah, no. January 7th, Everyone broke up with that girlfriend. Department. Yeah, basically. Okay, criminal affairs. The main server just went up in smoke! Why the heck isn't the press conference set up yet? The superintendent's here already! Yeah, and there's a problem with the internet, too. I already told you to stop using your computer, chief! But I'm watching videos online! I'm catching up on my Asian soap operas! It's gonna have to wait, Chief. I'm throwing the switch. No! Just when Tsubiyake was about to confess his son's heart to try girlfriend! Aww! <laughs> wow, this place is really buzzing! Something must be going down. Something really big. Huh? What are you doing here, pal? Detective Gumshoe! You can't be here right now. You'll be roped into the briefing if you stay. Huh? We've got big problems here today. Why? What's going on? It's a virus! A virus! Oh, so the software company's not doing their, uh, job. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently. <laughs> a virus. I've been working on my super cool programs that are gonna help, <laughs> to, make <laughs> to help make security work better. I don't even know what the- Yeah, you're just, is. you're just saying buzzwords right I'm, now. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Um, uh, performance. <laughs> software. <laughs> <laughs> Booleans. <laughs> Gigawatts. <laughs> There's a virus ripping through the precinct's computer system. But I really need to ask you some questions. It's just like that scene from Wreck-It Ralph 2, where they're like, oh no, you're gonna let the virus into the game, and it's just like, <gasps> and it like destroys the entire internet. <laughs> Ralph broke the internet. Not what can Ralph. I say? Okay, I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Okay. Yes! No matter how poor you get, never borrow money from a place like this, you hear? Um... Okay? If you got money trouble, then just go on a diet of instant noodles and hang in there. Uh, we're not thinking of borrowing money, detective. We want information. Oh, is that all? Well, let's see. Tender Lender is considered to be even fishier than the average illegal loan shark. And it seems it ran into trouble just recently. Those guys have been pretty heavy-handed calling in all their debts. Really? Don't go poking your nose around in their business, pal. We already did. You'll really regret it if you upset that lady. We already did. Alright, I get the picture. Hey, wait a minute. How's he know the lady? What did he just say? That lady? Don't upset the lady. Who's this lady he's talking about, Nick? We better find out what the story is with this lady. Okay. So, what exactly is a computer virus, Detective Gumshoe? I don't know. What? Look, I just go with the flow, alright, pal? And here I thought detectives were supposed to be somewhat knowledgeable. What's with that face, pal? You think you know what a virus is? Well, Nick, do you? A computer virus? Right, virus? Sure. I mean, only in simple terms, of course. I'm sure already knows it in complicated terms. Yeah, well, I mean, they're different types. Sure. Really? Wow, you know everything, Professor Nick! Yeah, I'm gonna call you Dr. Wright from now on. Hey, that sounds pretty cool! Don't you agree, Dr. Wright? Why do I get the feeling that they're making fun of me? Okay, fine. I'm no expert, but I can at least explain the basics to the two of you. What's, What's a virus? virus? Well, this is good, though, if you're a kid who's mm -hmm. under 13 playing a T for teen game, and you don't know what computer viruses are. I feel like kids know what computer viruses are better than a lot of adults. No, not when this first came out, though. This is 2014 Nowadays when it came out. Or not 2014, 2004. I was like, 2014? <laughs> Never were... mind. No, tw 2004, the internet was still like chugga chugga choo choo type speeds. Chugga chugga Conroy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, 
Yeah, and nobody knew anything. <laughs> a virus is a program that gets inside a computer and causes damage. Damage? You mean it makes the machine go boom and explode? No. no the damage is, um, well, it's all internal. So the inside goes boom, right? Imagine all the case data you've got stored on your PCs here in the station. A virus could wipe all that out. It's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Whoa! That's scary! Yeah, and what's even more scary is that viruses are infectious. Infectious? Most computers are connected together on a network, right? Sure. A virus can move from one machine to another over the network. So the virus just keeps spreading faster and faster. Like sickness. You know, yep. you go into huh. class. Just like a real virus, huh? But, Nick, why would anyone want to make a program like that? Yeah! It takes ages to type in all that data! Why would you want to destroy it, pal? No, people don't infect their own machines. They send the virus to someone else's. What? That's horrible! Oh, I get it! It's like you sneezing on Godot so he catches a cold. Yeah, right! Then he wouldn't be able to turn up in court because he'd be too sick. You really shouldn't do stuff like that, Nick. It's wrong! Who? What? Where? When and why did the conversation jump to talking about me? Anyway, that's what a computer virus is. A bad program that causes damage. Cool. And all the different viruses have names, right? I kind of feel like I've heard the name of this virus that we caught somewhere before. The name of the virus, huh? It's Maggie! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've heard of it before, too. This is just a metaphor for, like, how this girl keeps... <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing has a... That would be really dumb. <laughs> I've been working on metaphors all day, so... Is that thing real, pal? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I wonder what this phony of yours is like. He had Maggie found guilty of murder. Doesn't that tell you? It tells me the guy is cruising for a bruising. You're really caring, aren't you, Detective Gumshoe? About Maggie, I mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ate this. I haven't got anything to say about that, pal. Just take it away already, please. Spending $20 on this has got to be killing him inside. Yep. Show him the... Hey, check it out. It's not my attorney's badge. What do you think about this, Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, pal. I can't discuss anything connected to the case. Hey! I thought you said you were going to help us out! I can't help you out if I don't have any info. Yeah, I suppose the retrial has only just begun. Look at the Glen... Oh, never mind. Detective Gumshoe, um, about this... What?! I'm trying to concentrate on Maggie and this virus right now, so I- ah! This is it! That stupid name! I remember now! Is it Maggie? I thought so. Here it comes. Don't just nod to yourself and keep it in the dark, Nick. What's going on? It's okay, Maya. You don't have to cry about it. Oh, I didn't realize she was crying. The name scribbled on that sports paper and written on that CD. That's the name of the virus. MC Bomber. Oh. What?! Yeah, the virus that's just infected every computer in the station, pal. It's MC Bomber. Can you give us any more details, please? Oh, I thought it was going to be named Maggie. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> Maggie with an IE. <laughs> yeah, Maggie with an IE. We already knew about the MC Bomber virus from a while back. A group of criminals issued a series of demands to the head honchos of law enforcement. Um. They threatened to release the virus if their demands weren't met. What? Who are they? I don't know. Some hot shots from the criminal underworld would be my guess. So maybe Zinio. <laughs> <laughs> and now the virus has been released, huh? Yeah, it's in every computer and every public office in the city. Everyone's going nuts! They're hopping around like they're dancing at a carnival! All this stuff with criminals and viruses, it almost feels like we're in a sci-fi movie! Apparently the programmer who made the virus was a real genius or something. The focus right now is on tracing the root of the virus on the black market. You mean I have a question. And this is a word question. Root and route. People say both. Is one correct or not? For me, root is a noun and route is a verb. Okay. That's how... I'm not sure if that's right. I but, don't know But if, if I'm right like, either. oh yeah, I'm taking, like, the scenic route. Or the scenic route. Yeah, scenic route. Yeah, scenic route. Scenic route, whereas... Route 66. Like, yeah, that route kind six, of thing. Yeah, route 66, that kind of thing. Whereas... Where it's like, I'm going or, to route to this location. Where, yeah, my GPS is currently routing the location. That's how I would say it. Okay. I want to look that up afterwards, because I'm curious. You mean someone put this virus up for sale? Yeah. And because this one's so powerful, they're estimating its price tag was in the millions of dollars, pal. In the millions? A virus can be worth that much? Well, it's probably Tiger who's like, 
Rah! And he got, he got like half a million. Or no, so and so. I'm gonna half release a this virus. <laughs> That's not the right voice. That was the voice you were doing last episode. Rah! Rah, I'm the tiger. Rah! It's the eye of the tiger. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. want to hear a remix of "Eye of the Tiger" sung by Furio Tiger. By, by him. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> MC Bomber updated in the court record. It would be a metal version because he screams so much. Live the tiger! Uh, show her the. Yeah. Maggie's probably crying all alone right now, huh? No, she was pretty mad at you. Yeah, thanks to you. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! Maya, don't torch poor Gumshoe's feelings like they're some sort of cheap creme brulee. You're really crazy about Maggie, aren't you? No, 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 I'm just, I'm not, it's not that I, you don't have to hide it, Gumshoe. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, you're way too plain looking for Maggie, right? I'd arrest you right now if you weren't so right, if you weren't so right. <laughs> That's yeah. poor guy. Poor dude, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, the, yeah. the... oh, this guy, the tiger. Is he famous? Yeah, this guy's not a loan shark, you know. Nope, he's a big loan cat. Meow. Hence the name. Don't pay him back and you'd better say your prayers because he'll eat you alive. Santa Claus is coming. To their, what is, no, say your... <laughs> paying your, your stockings, stockings and say your, your prayers because Santa, Santa Claus, Claus comes, comes tonight. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. You're shaking, detective. Like a leaf. I'm just, you know, kind of on edge at the moment, if you know what I mean. Okay, show the weird Violetta. That's the girl who works over at Tenderlender. You want to stay away from her, okay? I mean it. She seems like someone who, like, if she was in a horror game or movie, would have, like, the weird scissors. Would be like, <laughs> Yeah. She does look kind of unforgiving, doesn't she? That should be the least of your worries, pal. What's that supposed to mean? What could be worse? Is, he the re is she the reason why he's, like, in debt? That'd be kind of... Her name's Viola Cadaverini. Oh! Well, I was right! Hit the car with the scooter. Scooter and wins. <laughs> scooter wins because he Yo, jacked dude, it. Yo, dude, I tricked out my ride titanium. And then he, like, killed everyone in the car but her. And then he was like, ugh, I have to save her. And then paid for her medical bills. And she's like, you save me. I will be your slave. She's the only granddaughter of Bruto Cadaverini. That guy might be the creepiest looking guy in the series. I, I can't the tell. Does it, you can't see it. Okay, no, so... He looks like he has a smiley face because of how his forehead lines work. It looks like a face. <laughs> Do you not see it? It's like, right there. There's a little line. And then two eyes. It's like a smiley face I, on his I, head. I, I would not... Did not make that connection, no. Oh. He's got, like, all the, like, age marks. Age marks. He's got, he's got a, a scar like, going across his head. Maybe that's from... It's his eyes. So... It's his eyes that are freaky. Oh, oh I God. can't see his eyes. Oh, they're open. I thought they were closed. No. Never they're mind. Open. They're right below his eyebrows. Bruto Cadaverini? Cadaverini. Cadaverini? Do you know who that is, Nick? Never heard of him. <laughs> Brutal Cadaverini's the boss of the Cadaverini family. The Cadaverini's? That's one scary sounding name. We can't touch them. They're way too powerful for the police. What? But you're thinking of taking them on, aren't you? No, no! I don't remember ever saying I was going to! <laughs> I better get some more info out of Gumshoe about this family. What are they? Are they like law people? Are they working with the government? We're about to find out. What are they doing? I'm not sure if I really want to get involved with this, but who are the Cadaverinis? Who are they? A scary bunch of people, that's who. You're a cop and you're scared? What's that about? Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or a cop. These guys are scary. They've got some serious clout in the criminal underworld. Okay. We can't touch them. They've got too much moolah. Moolah? moolah as in... Money. They pretty much control all the cash in the city's black market. They play a lot of Chibi Robo. <laughs> a lot of Chibi Robo. The black market, huh? And that includes Tenderlender, I take it? Sure. No one stands up to Brutal Cadaverini. And I mean no one. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I wonder if it's like a weird uh, master and slave thing then. If it's like, may maybe she wasn't. No, there was a car that was hit. Maybe he hit the car. He still won. Injured the daughter. <laughs> Maybe maybe he, the the grandfather's still alive, right? Yeah. Mafia boss is still alive. Maybe he like figures this out and he's like, 
<laughs> and like wants to murder Tiger, and he's like, Aah! I'll pay just, for it. I'll pay for it. Okay. And then I'll hire your daughter so she gets some cash. And they're like, Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so Vi Viola. Viola, I suppose. Yeah. Viola is the granddaughter. The grand, yeah, the granddaughter of some mafia boss. Then. Yeah, and everyone knows how much Bruto loves his little girl. Oh. She means everything to him. Oh. So, how did she end up at Tender Lender? I don't know, pal. But I heard she and the boss of the Tender Lender are pretty tight. Tight? That's what it said in a file I read related to Maggie's case. Sounds like a pretty important clue. Ah! I can't believe it! I almost forgot the most important thing! And that is... You know, the lunchbox! How did everything go? <laughs> a lunchbox? For lunch! It was great! <laughs> you remember... The weenies? I hate weenies! Oh yeah, those weenies. I feel like that would be a pretty good meme, just I, I hate, hate weenies! <laughs> like when a bunch of kids are ugly on your lawn. I, I hate, hate weenies! weenies. <laughs> so, how did my weenies taste when they went down the hatch? Huh? Um, well, it was delicious. Yeah, that's what she said? Really? Um, well, not exactly. Don't worry about it, pal. I figured something would happen, so I came prepared. Prepared? What do you mean? I made a jumbo lunchbox! Oh. Do me a favor again, huh, pal, and deliver this? This sure is a heavy yeah. burden, in more ways than one. I could just imagine Maggie's little eyes sparkling with joy when you bring her that. Weenies again, Nick. Tell me we don't have to eat all these, too. Gumshoe's lunchbox given to Maya. Oh, again! <laughs> I really can't eat anymore. Oh, oh, hang on. Most important thing. Gotta examine the chief. Oh, yeah! This must be the chief of the detectives here. He looks lost now that the power to his computer has been cut. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to read the paper now. Alternatively, you could read some reports. Just a <laughs> suggestion. What the heck is this? This paper's more than a month old! And someone's written all over it! Who's the clown who put this on my desk? Well, speak up. He just wadded it up and chucked it in the trash! But that's an important piece of evidence! <laughs> the chief of detectives is very incompetent. Oh yeah. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Your batteries won't last forever. Remember that when you're having fun in bed. <laughs> we have a winner! A little joke to make people think about their smoke alarms! Oh! <laughs> that is not what I was thinking. That's not what I was thinking either! <laughs> He must be coming up with slogans for a fire safety campaign. Wow. I guess? Does he even know what he's trying to get across <laughs> anymore? Wow. I think it was the in bed. Yeah, <laughs> thing that was like, which is usually a sign of innuendo. Yeah. Anytime I encounter the words in, in bed, bed after a dot, 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 dot you're like, eh. whatever way you're supposed to read it. Maggie's gone. She evaporated. How are we supposed to give her the lunchbox? She box? evaporated? Exactly. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I smell Into more the weenies. Clown. Or the clown into the clown. <laughs> into the clown. This isn't case two free. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, give it Lisa. to her. Give it to her. No, no, we should have given the lunchbox to her. She would just say, I'm sorry, that is super admin restricted okay, password fine. for Glenn's trouble. So how about you tell me what kind of trouble Mr. Elg was in? I'm sorry, sir, but we don't deal with troubleshooting here. Perhaps you'd like to speak with someone in the customer service. What's she talking about? I guess I'd better just take a shot and see where it gets me. Miss Basil, let me ask you something. Did Mr. Elk's troubles have something to do with this? It had to do with all those lottery tickets he bought. That's true. He was with Scooter if we used to be crashed it. <laughs> well, what do you think? I'm not sure. Let's ask one of the programmers. Excuse me, can you answer this man's query, please? The data queue that manages system tags for troubleshooting requires that the multitasking simulation for local variables be put in sweet mode so the data transmission on active nodes can be bottled correctly according to the source code. Obviously. So I'm afraid that the, the situation you see. Did you good people follow all that? Not even slightly. What was all that mumbo jumbo? It is exactly as my programmer explained. I'm guessing I picked the wrong piece of evidence there. <laughs> would you like? Uh, would you like to input another question? Guess I better just take a shot. So you said it was the lottery tickets? I think so. What is that? A lottery ticket. There were hundreds of these on the victim's table at the scene of the crime. 
And what is the relevance of that? The victim, Mr. Glen Elg, had a gambling habit, didn't he? I don't think that's a logical conclusion based on the facts. Everyone's dreams of being everyone dreams of being rich, even I listen to Millionaire Radio. She's right. That is a bit weak on its own. But Mr. Elg's gambling wasn't restricted to the lottery, was it? Yeah, it was horse. <laughs> he also bet on poetry reads. <laughs> <laughs> everyone likes to gamble from time to time. Huh? But be careful. If you're careless, you could lose everything. Your money, people's trust, etc. Looks like I got that one wrong. <laughs> I don't think that's a logical conclusion based on the facts. That was that voice. <laughs> the facts. Duck season five. The lottery, horse racing. He bought a lot of tickets and lost a lot of times. That's gotta have hurt his wallet pretty bad, don't you think? Actually, you can present those two pieces of evidence in any order. And that's what I here. thought. Maybe bad enough to be the cause of some pretty serious trouble, perhaps? No! You are right. Glenn did have a gambling habit. You good people must not follow his example, do you understand? Trust me, even if I wanted to, I don't exactly have the money to buy any. But if you win, there is no problem, is there? And Glenn had a winning ticket, didn't he, for half a million dollars? Yeah, but... It's hard to imagine how he could have been in trouble then, isn't it? It's true that Mr. Elg won half a million dollars, in the end, but that was his first stroke of good luck. He was in deep trouble before that. Deep trouble? What do you mean? Mr. Elg's real problem was with something or someone <coughs> more terrifying and ferocious. Oh, well, that's really easy. What? The, the, rawr. It's Good the dog. eye of the tiger. He was messing with this guy. He's 78. That explains a lot. Uh, all good people get into trouble sometimes. Huh? <laughs> Let's ask one of my programmers what they think. Excuse me, what do you think? I'm taking a break. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, perhaps I should take a break too. <laughs> I wish I could take a break from my troubles, but the rest <laughs> the rest stop was about a mile back. <laughs> that, by great. the way, the guru program oh, did you get he has a name, but we don't learn it till the credits. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Is it a great name? It's fitting. It's fitting. Furio Tiger, the boss of a loan office called Tender Lender. Tender Lender? People with businesses should think harder before naming their offices. But you're one to talk! Well, what do you think? Our firm is doing very well at the moment. I don't think we need to borrow money. No, no, no! I meant about Mr. <laughs> Elg. You think Glenn had something to do with the Furio Tiger? Yes. I'm sorry, I don't know of any connection between the two of them. Really? Because I've got proof that Mr. Elg and the Tiger knew each other. They had the calendar! They went to horse races together! <laughs> that would be really well, funny. what do you think? I'm not sure. Let's ask one of the programmers. Excuse me, can you answer this man's query, please? The data queue that manages system tests for troubleshooting requires that the multitasking simulation for local variables. But uh, hey, now, I totally explained this last time. I'm not saying all of that again. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm afraid that that is the situation you see. Did you good people follow all that? Not I know what my voice slightly. sounds like. For it's Lisa flood. Basil? No, it's Flood from Mario Sunshine. Mario. <laughs> for <laughs> Lisa Basil? For Lisa Basil. <laughs> Mario, I am a robot, beep, bop, beep, bop, but also a human. Mario will not be allowed to leave the island until all the mess is clean. <laughs> That's not Flood. That's, That's the no, judge. No, no, it Mario seems, will not be allowed, allowed to leave, leave the, the island. island. <laughs> it seems that we will not be able to leave until the entire mess has been cleaned up. Such is the... I can't remember... I apologize to anybody who loved Sunshine, but that was my uh, least favorite of the 3D Mario games by uh, far. It's not my least favorite, but it's pretty low. I didn't like it much. Furio Tiger, a.k.a. The Tiger, is a boss of a loan office called Tenderlander. Actually, his last name might be Tigre. 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 Tiger. It is Tiger's so more fitting, cool. though. This is who Mr. Elg met with on the day of the murder. And the only thing a loan shark would talk with him about would be his debt. No! It is true that Glenn had racked up quite a bit of a debt from his ha gambling habit. About $100,000, I think. $100,000? Ouch. But I heard he won the lottery, so she he should have been in the clear. Shame Maggie couldn't get a bit of that good luck. Okay, so the guy got lucky and won the lottery. But what if he hadn't won? What was his plan then? Well, this isn't easy to say, but 
He said he would use his talents to repay the money. His talents? I suspect he was talking about programming. What, what computer program is worth $100,000? A lot. <laughs> Perhaps you good people should leave so I can get back to work. I'm so close to cracking her. The program in question, was it by any chance this? The MC Bomb? It was the lunch box! <laughs> this is a very delicate matter. Without the necessary data, there really is no way I can access the information. I know Mr. Elg created some sort of program. Wow. She can't deny it if I show her the program itself as evidence. I'm so close to cracking the case. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is the virus that's infecting computers worldwide as we speak. MC Bomber. No! Does the entire company work on that, or is it like just Probably just, just Glenn. Okay, but she knows about it? It's fine if you work on the the virus. Get your work done. You, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn's head had more than more processing power than any other computer, but he had been infected with a gambling virus. Glenn was in too deep. You mean he was in debt? Yes, one hundred thousand dollars in debt. Not an easy amount to repay. So, he said he was taking on some extra work, something a bit risky. Risky? How? Maybe he was going to become a waitress at Travion! Where do you come up with these ideas? <laughs> <laughs> so it's safe to say Mr. Elg was the creator of this virus, huh? The MC Bomber virus, yes. It was a work of genius in a bad sort of way, of course, but still genius. Something like that would probably fetch several million dollars on the black market. Inconceivable! Gumshoe is right for a change? <laughs> this data, December 3rd, that is marked on his calendar. That was his deadline for repaying his debts. MC Bomber updated in the court record. Okay. I guess we won't be needing these horse racing tickets anymore. What? Maybe we need them! Glenn Elk's losing horse racing tickets thrown back on the floor. Use the trash can, Nick! <laughs> so if, we, like, if oh, we look I'm... at MC Bomber now... It's like that Zitz comic where the mom comes in and she's just like... <gasps> <laughs> like, throws the clothes everywhere. Yep. Yeah. MC Bomber, a computer virus made by Glenn Elk, potentially worth millions of dollars. And we have, have it! it. <laughs> cool. Phoenix is just like, screw this, I'm retiring to the Bahamas. Yeah. Not really, but... That's the bad ending of the game. <laughs> <laughs> you retire to the Bahamas, that's the bad ending? Yeah, but you doom the rest of the world. <laughs> oh. What? What? Oh, we can break her. I forgot she had a Last thing we have lock. to do. She has four. I forgot she had a psych lock. The head bandage. You said that bandage around your head was from an operation. You also said you <laughs> suffered from a fatal ener energy. <laughs> fatal energy to the head, correct? Injury. I know. Yes, the operation was very difficult, apparently. Now, by fatal injury, you mean you were hurt very badly somehow, right? <laughs> Did the injury in question have something to do with this? I like how she just keeps laughing in the background like she's not. <laughs> were you the person I threw my attorney's badge at? <laughs> well... Donuts. Huh? I baked them myself. Homemade donuts. Have one. Um, what's inside? Jam and... I'm sorry, but I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> uh, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll pass. I guess that was a flop. What happened to this woman for her to have such a huge bandage around her head? Huge. And a really <laughs> huge brand, brand brand damage. damage. Brand damage. <laughs> you damaged my raisin bran. How am I supposed to eat the cereal, <laughs> cereal now? now? <laughs> there must Even be milk won't fix it. Um, Milk ruins cereal, in my opinion. I'm very unpopular opinion. This is why we don't like most cereals. We don't like we don't... cereal. But I, yeah. we grew up with, like, the not sugary cereal, and we grew up with, like, no milk on our cereal. I hate milk, so I'm not putting yeah, it on cereal. Like it makes either. it soggy. One of the only good cereals to eat without milk is Raisin Bran Crunch, but it's not healthy. I like eating, like, Cheerios, and you <laughs> put fruit in it, or yeah. you use the Cheerios as granola for yogurt. Hey, that also works. Whatever works, yeah. There must be a piece of evidence that'll prompt her to tell us what happened. Fuck, fail, injury, you mean... The repair bill. 
I have here a car repair bill. From this, it seems pretty obvious that this car was involved in an accident. Let me see that. This bill is made out to the Cadaverinis. Yes, it is. I don't think I ever introduced myself. Tell me, what do the Cadaverinis have to do with me? Something tells me she's not about to say hi and introduce herself. Alright then. Your relationship with the Cadaverinis is very strong, and this is why. Pretty obvious? You wore this! I know you did. So, what do you have to say for yourself now? Pretzels for you. Okay, dang, this girl can't bake. I mean, she's poisoning it all, but... <laughs> it's like Sweeney Todd. Or she, he didn't, he didn't poison doesn't... the stuff? No, the, the gal, Mrs. Lovett, who makes the pies out of, like, meat? Yeah, I'm yeah, aware of more this. more like that. Sweeney Todd just murdered people while they were getting yeah, haircuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about the little white specks on the surface. I just sprinkled a small quantity of... N no thanks! My evidence must still be half-baked. She's so I blatant. I really don't know the Cadaverinis further. I don't think... No, fine. You know what? Your last name's Cadaverini, we know it. I know exactly who you are, Viola Cadaverini. You sustained that injury in a traffic accident, didn't you? It happened about- I thought she was just gonna be like, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> it happened about four months ago. I was driving in one of our family cars when someone pulled out in front of me. Did the scooter- It was a motorbike or something like that. I don't remember it much. Anyway, I swerved to try to avoid it, but- Did bike win? I took a blow to the head, a bad one. Okay, so it wasn't motorcycle beats car, it's she swerved to avoid the motorcycle and crashed it. Oh. <laughs> motorcycle would never beat car! Motorcycle beats car! <laughs> I still like the idea of like, yo dog, I totally tricked my ride now. Well, because it's like, how would she, I wouldn't, okay. No offense to her, but given her whole family and the black market in the underworld, I would just assume she would run him over. That would be what I would assume. Not swerve, like the don't steer, hit the deer type of thinking. She doesn't, like, want to kill people. She's not- No. Maybe she's not a psychopath. <laughs> Yet. I don't know. Her speech <laughs> says otherwise. I, Al, I can't help you. I would have seen you a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So what happened to the person on the bike? I'm guessing they didn't get away with injuring THE Viola Cadaverini, right? I don't know what happened to them. They ran away, or so I heard. Ran away? If they'd stayed, I'd have... <laughs> hmm, is it possible? Could the person who committed the hit and run have been... Could it have been Godot? <laughs> That would've been funny. <laughs> the person who caused the accident you that, that gave you that injury was... No more. I don't want to think about it anymore. Here, try one of these tomatoes. We all picked them together as a family. And I added my own special flavoring. N no thanks! <laughs> person who caused the accident was riding a motorbike. Mm. Who could it be? <laughs> <laughs> Brita cheated? But why? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I need to. You need to watch Community sometimes. It's yeah, a it's a great is it show. Funny? Is it funny? Like it's very kind funny. Of humor? It's very funny. Okay. It's it's quirky humor. Oh, I like quirky humor. That'd be fun. It was this man, wasn't it? He was the cause of your accident. It wasn't Don Tiger. I refuse to believe it. We collided, the motorbike and my car. But Don Tiger isn't injured at all, is he? It was the tiger who caused Viola to crash. I could feel it. Plus, one of her locks just broke, so she must suspect it was him, too. I'm sorry, Miss Cadaverini, but I have proof that the tiger was involved in a traffic accident on his bike. Oh, yeah, we do, because he literally paid whatever to it. <laughs> the repair bill? Um, well, he it said that the tiger paid for his... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And this is my proof. Hard-boiled eggs? Please, try one. E eggs I raised the chickens. These eggs came from myself. I invented a special diet so their chicks would be blue. What? <laughs> what okay, she just got 100% creepier. No thanks! What? 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 Oh, she got a lot creepier. She Holy got cow. a lot creepier. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been... That... Oh. <laughs> I took the repair bill! It literally no, that's to the car, not to the motorbike. Oh. It's not exactly a motorbike, but... Mr. Tiger rides around on a scooter, doesn't he? And you'll notice that the front wheel guard is badly damaged. Miss Cadaverini, you know the truth, don't you? <laughs> this repair bill was paid by Furio Tiger. The Cadaverinis have known for ages who caused the accident, haven't they? It's possible. Perhaps. Somewhere inside me, I know that may be true. I knew it. But, Don Tiger still saved my life. The operation was very complicated. It was very, very expensive. How much are we talking? Very, very, very expensive. She seems kind of hesitant about giving me an actual figure. I should back off. Well, anyway, it was the tiger who paid for it, right? After I recovered, Don Tiger told me. He said he paid for the operation because he cared about me. I believe him. Really? But do you honestly believe that to be true? Do you want to know what I think? I think the reason he paid for the operation wasn't because of you, but someone else. Sure. It all makes sense. It all comes back, it all comes back, it all comes back. You gotta pay for dick gumshoe! <laughs> you gotta pay for gumshoe. <laughs> He's broke. I know this must be quite a shock for you, but... Overcoat. Sorry? I made it myself. It's been so... cold lately. Yeah, just hearing your voice sends shivers down my spine. Please try it on. Oops. What was the oops for? I'm missing a few pins. I must have left them in the coat. Uh, on second thought, I'm fine, thanks. Roasty toasty, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Don Tiger. Perhaps I shouldn't be saying this, but... Your grandfather, Bruto Cadaverini, controls a lot of dubious cash, right? And you are his beloved pride and joy. Sure, I don't know exactly how much the operation cost, but if you weren't the granddaughter of Mr. Cadaverini, do you think Mr. Tiger would have paid the money? One million dollars. Four months ago, I was in a traffic accident. That's why I needed the operation. When I woke up, they told me it was nothing serious. A simple procedure. Oh, really? Well, I guess if she recovered in four months, it couldn't have been too big. They said the operation cost one million dollars. A, a, a million bucks?! My grandfather ordered Don Tiger to pay one million dollars. In compensation. Compensation, huh? It's underworld lingo for paying money to settle a score. Basically, pay or get into some serious trouble. But a million bucks? This has to be related to our poisoning case somehow. I wanted to believe him. I wanted to trust what Don Tiger said. He said he had, no had nothing to do with my grandfather being Bruto Cadaverini. I wanted to believe he helped me because he cared about me, not about my grandfather. Oh! But I knew that wasn't really true. Wow, I'm so sorry. What he did to get the money was 
It was evil. He said it was all for me. So I... I helped him. You helped him? In what way? Here, take these. What are these? Medical papers? I'm Bruto Cadaverini's granddaughter. He had to pay compensation. He was made an offer he simply couldn't refuse. Viola's medical papers added to the court record. I feel kind of bad for her, but I kind of wondered if it would end up with her crying at some point. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel so bad for Viola. Viola's medical paper is a $1 million bill for criminal- Cranial surgery. Criminal surgery! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dog! Check out how I cut open this person! <laughs> That's not what criminal No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fact that, like, her laughing animation and her crying animation are the same kind of makes you wonder. Mm -hmm. It's inexcusable. Huh? There are two things that I consider inexcusable. Poisoning and betrayal. Only a coward would hurt people using either of these tactics. He's remembering Dahlia. Oh, yeah. I, yup. Yeah. Okay. Is everything alright, Nick? We should get going. Right after we finish our espresso. Let's, yeah. Let's be fair, Dahlia kind of fell into where she wouldn't say anything except, give me the necklace back. <laughs> so, that's kind of his own fault, but yeah. I mean, clearly they had at least somewhat of a relationship, though. He, he did care about her a lot. He cared about her. He ate her necklace for her. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't die, thankfully. I, I won't need to convince Viola of anything else, so I guess I can get rid Wait, of this. Wait, that would be the only... I know that later Phoenix Wright games don't necessarily have Phoenix Wright in them, or Ace Attorney games. Mm -hmm. I, the only way that they should, like, end that is if it's like, oh yeah, like, we, like, Phoenix Wright, like, you wanted to play as him, but apparently, like, he had this, like, sudden death. We don't know what it was caused by, and it's, like, the poisoning that he ate. <laughs> that would be... It was still in his stomach after all those years? No, like, it finally, <laughs> sir, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. We threw the repair bill in the trash. Cool. So I threw it in the trash. Hi, birds. No, we don't want to talk to you. Oh, boy. January 7th, Trabian. Oh, bonjour. I have been waiting for you to return. Mr. Armstrong. Ah, good timing. I was hoping to find you here. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Well, he hasn't got anything to say to you, fellas. Oh, hi. Ah, it's Zeniope. Who are you calling Zeniope? Come out from under the table already, Maya. Okay, hand it over. W what? You just want to play games with me? I don't recommend that. The medical papers, now. Uh-oh, I think he wants Viola Cadaverini's papers back. How did he know we'd have them? You mean this? The million dollar medical papers? Miss Cadaverini trusted you. That's why she said she helped you. Forget about it. That girl's dumber than an eggplant. You just want to know what's sad? I'll tell you what's sad. It ain't only her face. She thinks she's got power because she's Bruto's little girl. Now that's sad. I can't let you have these papers. Tomorrow in court... We're I'm... gonna be beat up! We're not gonna do this! <laughs> I'm going to expose what you did to get the one million you used to pay this off. This is not the time! Remember what happened last time? Are you crazy or something? Remember when... I don't care if you want to give it to me or not. There's two of us here. You got that? Two. He's somebody's buff. Uh, we, we, we. Mr. Armstrong, forgive me, Désolé. I cannot argue with him. See, this is why we shouldn't ever say this. It's like saying, <laughs> Phoenix never learns. No, it's like, oh wow. I'm gonna expose everything you did, and then it's like the mafia appears. Oh, I'm gonna expose everything oh, you, you did. did. Mr. Ron, your accuser. I'm gonna expose everything you, you did. did. Sir. <laughs> Why do you never learn, Phoenix Wright? Why? Meanwhile. I'm gonna expose everything you did. <laughs> You're dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that really hurt. Meanwhile, is Maya alive? Is that all you've got? I'll be taking those papers now. Armstrong, get that lighter. What? Are they gonna burn the place down? Don't 
Don't take it too hard. They're going to burn the papers. Oh. Phoenix Wright. I thought they were going to burn the entire restaurant. I'm like, <laughs> we're going to die. <laughs> that was so stupid. I shouldn't have let my guard down. Come on, Maya. Those medical papers were vital evidence. We'll be fine. Hopefully. Hold it, pal! Thank you, Detective Gumshoe. Come in and beat them up. D Detective Gumshoe? The briefing! D Detective? You think you couldn't stop me, copper? Beat it! Rawr! Whoa! G come on, Gumshoe. Keep, Keep it together! together. <laughs> you guys, get out of here. Leave this guy to me. B but go, pal, and take this. If you get hurt, who'd look after Maggie, huh? Uh, all right. Thanks, Gumshoe. Wait, Nick! Don't leave me behind! Gumshoe is gonna come to court tomorrow. It's gonna be like, hey, we need to have, like, this witness come up, and he's just gonna have, like, the lumps all over his face. <laughs> like, that when Mike Wazowski and yeah. them fall out. Are you kidding? I beat you! <laughs> or, like, Porcaroso when they're fighting yeah. in the water. <laughs> 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 that was a great showdown. I'll get even with that guy tomorrow in court. What? Tender Lender is going down. He's gonna, like, beat you up before then. No, he's not. <laughs> he doesn't know where we work. <laughs> right in company Company law, law offices. <laughs> All right, that's it for the second investigation period, everybody. We're going to the final trial tomorrow. I mean, other than the fact that I thought a motorcycle would beat car, I was pretty much right. <laughs> Still can't believe you thought motorcycle could ever beat car. <laughs> did you not ever take driver's ed? No, I did. I was just thinking because he's an underworld dude. I thought maybe like he would like jack up his bike. He ran the underworld. underworld. <laughs> Furio Tiger is Hades confirmed. Oh yeah. Anyhow, look for it next time. We're going to court. Who knows who's going to testify? Yous is gonna testify. <laughs> Yous? Mies is gonna testify? I don't think so, Kapu. Anyhow, look forward to that until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.